what's up everybody it's your girl liz back with another video here to keep you in the know once again we have a sa lawsuit filed in hollywood this time paulo du files a sa lawsuit against nigel lego so i do have to give you a trick of warning viewer discretion is advised this video will touch on actual assault and this topic may be offensive and sensitive to some therefore if you are easily offended or triggered by this subject matter you may want to consider not watching this video viewer discretion is advised so according to paul abdu before we start reading this article i'm just going to give you an overview of what is going on so apparently this happened initially uh, back in the 2000 doing american idol when allegedly nigel s.a paula abdu now i will say this everyone is innocent until proven guilty so everything is allegedly reportedly she filed a lawsuit on december the 29th against nigel ago allegedly he s.a'd her during uh the american idol season around 2000 ish and then again it happened to her again the same person as aid her allegedly uh, around 2015 uh while she was working on so you think you can dance reportedly the first time that he essayed paul abdu was when they was uh apparently they was traveling when they was working for american idol they just happened to stay at the same hotel and this happened in the elevator where he cornered her in an elevator allegedly i uh, pushed her against the wall and put his hand in her private area tried to shove his tongue down her throat now this is very sad and she let him know that he was wrong but you know of course he should have known that he was wrong you don't just touch somebody in their private area you do not invade someone's personal private space like that that is just doing the unthinkable just the things that women have to go through in the workplace and especially here in hollywood allegedly and it happened the second time when he invited her to his home years later looks like probably over 10 years later uh, she didn't think that it would happen again and she thought that it was going to be a business meeting and so it looks like towards the end of the meeting that she was sitting on the sofa and he tried to come on to her while she was on the sofa and once again she left now the first time when this happened back in around the 2000s when she was working on american idol she called her friend but she decided not to pursue charges she didn't want to be fired from the show because he was a producer on the show he was a producer on American Idol, you know, where she was a judge on American Idol. He was also a producer on So You Think That You Can Dance, um, uh, show that she worked on as well. So this is the power dynamic that was between these two. She was afraid that he would fire her from the show. You know how hard it is for a woman of African-American descent to, first of all, to be out there working in Hollywood and also to be making that type of money so she didn't want to be blackballed from the industry because she said that the industry had a record of protecting men in Harley weird and also going after survivors so she was afraid she was afraid she would lose her livelihood she was afraid that she would get blackballed from the industry according to this report so she has now filed a lawsuit against this man so she is you know she is not taking him to criminal court some people might say that she is trying to get money but why should you let someone get away scot-free you know back then you know it seems like they were not believing victims you know people like she said would protect these powerful men you know you would raise your voice you would lose your job and the man would most likely keep his job and carry on so let's go ahead and take a look at the article and see if we can get some more information about this lawsuit that Paul Abdu have filed against Nigel Legault. So this report comes from the Hollywood Reporter and titled Paul Abdu sues American Idol producer Nigel Legault over SA claims. So the singer claims 
The So You Think You Can Dance producer S8 her during two alleged incidents, one during the initial seasons of American Idol and the other in 2014. So it says that the singer filed a lawsuit on Friday, which was yesterday, December the 29th, against Legault and the show's production companies, alleging that the producer S8 her during one of the early seasons of American Idol and years later when she was working as a judge on So You Think You Can Dance. In the court documents, Adu alleges that Legault subjected her to verbal harassment and bullying as well as S.A. So not only this, he S.A. her, she is claiming that uh, he harassed her and bullied her as well. And I will say this, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. So everything right now is allegedly, these are allegations. They have not been to court. So it says in one instant, Abdu alleges Lego essayed her in an elevator of a hotel they were both staying at while traveling for one of the singing competition shows additions. So they were traveling for the show. The suit doesn't give a year the incident happened, but claims it was during the show's initial seasons so she knows that it was during the show's initial seasons it happened so long ago so apparently people are coming for it now due to the look back law or some of these laws that have allowed them to go back and pursue these people to try to get some type of justice so it goes on to say that lego shoved abdul against the wall then grabbed her private area and her top areas and began shoving his tongue down her you know what so allegedly this is what the complaint states Abdul attempted to push the girl away from her and let him know his behavior was not acceptable you would have think that he would have known that his behavior was not acceptable but apparently these men was getting away with this that they uh they just thought I guess they thought this uh, behavior was acceptable. it says when the doors to the elevator for her floor opened Abdul ran out of the elevator and to her hotel room she was in tears she quickly called one of her representatives to inform them of what had happened to her of the assault she ultimately decided not to take action for fear that the would have her fired from american idol so this woman was trying to keep her job you know if she would have came forward he probably would have kept his job and uh, she probably would have let go so she decided not to move forward with any action. So years later, Abdul claims that the go essayed her again when she was working on So You Think You Can Dance with Abdul, with Paul Abdul inking a deal to serve as a judge in January of 2015. So Abdul was invited to the Go's home for dinner. Um, this is what the complaint states to discuss other opportunities for the two to work together. So she thought it was a business meeting. She's trying to get a job. She's trying to pay her bills. So believing that the dinner was a professional invitation, she accepted the invite, This, according to the complaint. And it says that toward the end of the evening, however, Lego forced himself on top of Abdul while she was seated on his couch and attempted to kiss her while proclaiming that the two would make an excellent power couple. And this is what the complaint states. But Abdul, she pushed him away. She pushed him over her, explaining that she was not interested in his advances and immediately left his home. And it says that as with the earlier incident, Abdul feared she would be retaliated against or blackballed if she spoke out against the incident. So, you know, people trying to work, you know, is probably hard to get a job as it is in Hollywood. And then allegedly this is happens to you and you are trying to keep your job so it says that later the complaint reiterates how abdul refrained from speaking out due to fear of retaliation so that is the reason why she did not speak out she was feared that he would retaliate against her and that she could lose her job for years abdul has remained silent about the s a and harassment she experienced on account of the go due to fear of speaking out against one of the most well-known producers of television competition shows who could easily break her career as a television personality and being ostracized and blackballed by an industry that had a pattern of protecting powerful men and silence and survivors of SA and harassment. So she's seeing what happened to people who spoke out against these powerful men, most likely, and uh, what happened to the alleged victims. 
So she decided, you know, hey, she's going to keep paying her bills. And uh, I guess, you know, that is the reason why she decided not to speak out. So it says that Abdul contracts on both American Idol and So You Think You Can Dance, which the complaint claims were drafted by entities with which the go was associated also specified that she was prohibited so apparently this was written in, something was written into the contract where she felt like she was prohibited from speaking out as well so it says specified that she was prohibited from publicly discussing anything that might be deemed confidential business information including information about the judges about the judges host or production entities or staff and or which would be perceived as derogatory. According to the complaint, so of course, this would be perceived as derogatory. So she felt like this was in her contract as well. And, you know, she couldn't speak out. They, they write this stuff into your contract. So they probably expect this. But so anyway, it says that elsewhere in the suit, Abdul said she also witnessed the go as a one of her assistants at the time identified as April in the complaint while filming So You Think You Can Dance in 2015. All right, so not only did he allegedly S.A. Paula Abdul, uh, she witnessed him allegedly S.A. one of her assistants as well. So this goes to showing a pattern of behavior. So thus, you know, she is going after the company as well. If they didn't know, they should have known. So it says that one evening, the girl allegedly approached Abdul and April from behind, pressed himself up against April and began to grope her. April did not consent, is what the complaint states. So Abdul's lawsuit claims that the girl proceeded to tease her on the phone about his alleged behavior incident. So, you know, not only was he doing this behavior, he, apparently he knew this behavior wrong. He had to know that this behavior was wrong, allegedly. And he talking to her on the phone because she had to keep communicating with this man. She worked on two popular shows that he was the producer of. And then he is taunting her on the phone. So it says that the girl knew and was aware that his treatment of a dude was inappropriate and even criminal. The complaint states, adding that he clearly knew that his assaults of a dude were not just wrong, but that he held the power to keep her silent. So it goes on to say that the girl produced American Idol from 2002 to 2014. So the initial one allegedly happened during the early years of American Idol. So it could have went all the way back to 2002. And he produced So You Think You Can Dance from 2005 to um, 2014. So he was a producer on two popular shows simultaneously. As, in addition to Lego, the show's production companies, American Idol Productions, Dance Nation Production, 19 Entertainment, and Free Mental Media, North America were also all listed as defenders in the suit so i guess these were the production companies they are also listed in the lawsuit because you know they should have known about this man's behavior allegedly so the hollywood reporter has reached out to reps for the go and american idol for comment so it looks like that they have not given a comment to the hollywood reporter at this time so this is what is going on another sa lawsuit uh, coming out of dealings in highly weird so you would think that they would try to clean up their act I highly doubt that they have cleaned up their act you know the writers had to go on strike the actors had to go on strike they don't want to pay the actors what they are worth and when they finally get a job that pays them what they are worth look what happens to some of these people allegedly so this is what is going on it's your girl liz once again coming to keep you in the know to let you know what is going on so anyway let me know what you think about this make sure you leave a comment below chime in let us know your thoughts and also like this video it helps out with the algorithm and subscribe to the youtube channel try to get up to 1000 subscribers it's your girl Liz, keeping up with the biz, and I am out. 
is Liz with the biz. 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 Yo, this is Liz with the biz. Is Liz with the biz. Telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real. Cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the biz.